And hello, everyone. Out there on Twitch, and maybe on YouTube. <sighs> What's up, Hanarion? Kick Nick? Lobster Pants? How you guys doing tonight? It is time for continuation of... <laughs> yep, I always have to time my intro with with the music exactly. I, I need an entrance. Now what's up, Rhythm Kitty? So yeah, this is uh, Vampire Enchanter. Um, very thirsty. He's been thirsty this entire five days since I've not been playing him. Now only just only just at this moment this is his thirst been satiated. The uh, uh, I'd say try some of one of the new species lobster pants. If you want something fun, try Knoll. Knoll is the new uh, species that uh, I think you can look them up. Um, well. Does it, does it have species in here? I wonder if they're... I actually need to remind myself. Look up description. Fact. Oh, that's the fact. That's probably got some fun outdated stuff. Those character notes. Browse. Okay, those are notes. Yeah, I have to remember what all the stuff that you can do here. Oh, oh on the right. There we go. Okay, list of character species. So, uh, yeah, these are fun to read if you've never re read them. I mean, they're, most of them are not really that much. There's a Baraki, Barakim, our amphibious humanoid race spawned at the dawn of time as serpents for the god. Wow, pleasing fungus, really. Inevitably, they rebelled and fled into the mortal world, but even uncounted years later, the darkness still flees at their approach. Remembering those who they once served. Wow. Barakim's most reliable, remarkable trait is their grossly, grossly overmuscled legs, which allow them to lead. I know, low slore. Really, pleasing fungus went all out with this. I don't think I've ever actually read this. I probably did, or I probably skimmed through it, which allowed them to leap great distances. When not leaping, they are. <laughs> when they're not leaping, Occasionally, they cease to leap and relax with a bottle of wine and a good book. When not leaping, they are somewhat slow-moving in the long sight lines that their heritage creates. This really is low slower. It can be a major disadvantage, but they can master almost any skill. This is this frog lore is OP. Pleasing Fungus did not mess around with the lore. He, he brought the lore game. You know, he was not going to just... I'm sure some of this lore is like pretty like straightforward. Here's vampires. Vampires are another form of undead. I say I don't like the intro when it's just like another form. It's like, oh yeah, and these guys. <laughs> it's a weird way to start the description, but with a peculiarity. Really? Because peculiar being undead is already pretty peculiar. By consuming fresh blood, they become alive. They may become alive. A bloodless vampire has all the traits of an undead, but cannot regain lost physical attributes or regenerate from wounds over time. In particular, magical items or spells, which increase the rate of regeneration, will not work, though divine ones will. On the other hand, a vampire full of blood will regenerate very quickly, but lose all undead powers. Vampires can never starve. They can drink from fresh corpses with the E command, or can bottle blood for later use with C. Upon growing... They learn to transform into quick bats. I like that turn of phrase there. Quick bats. Unlike other undead species, they may be mutated normally at all times. Yeah, all the draconians. I should really read all these, because I'm sure there's some... Well, there's probably some things that could be updating. But yeah, gnolls are a race of caniform humanoids, originally hailing from the air. This is... Sorry, this stream is now DCSS lore stream. We're, we don't play crawl anymore. We just read DCSS lore. And fanfic. We'll get to the fanfic next. 
and also a race of caniform humanoids originally hailing from the arid deserts and grasslands of the east. In recent history, they become unusually attracted to the dungeon. Let's sta- not talk about that any further, what that means. It's kind of a weird subtext, but we'll just move on. Establishing tribes around and even inside of it. Unfortunately, their long stay in the dungeon has exposed their somewhat fragile minds to excessive amounts of its magic. On the one hand, I remember I had to clean up this prose, and it was very difficult to make lore that describes this. So some of this bad lore is, is Gamma Funk lore, so you'll have to forgive it. Their bizarrely altered brains now have incredible proficiency at learning every skill, and the other these same alterations have rendered Nulls incapable of selective learning. Yeah, I can tell that I wrote this. They learn all skills equally at the same time, so it's hard for them to learn more about any one thing. That's a little bit awkward, but I guess that works. In order to survive with this limitations, this limitation, Nulls use their universal knowledge and excellent physical attributes of strength, intelligence, and dexterity. You gotta list what they are to take advantage of every resource they find in the dungeon. They also have powerful noses adapted for the dungeon's sense, allowing them to easily locate where treasures lay hidden. They also sparkle in bad movies. He didn't just mummy bladder it, yeah. Is there anything? There's nothing about the bladder, I hope. No, their desiccated bodies are highly flammable. Well, I hope you enjoyed those five minutes of crawl lore, but I guess that's a good reminder of what you can see from the help screen from question mark. There's a ton of good stuff here. Look up monster. Look up, and this is something, if you hit question mark slash, you can look up a lot of things that are difficult to define, uh, find the description for, like what all, uh, some things which are probably not as useful, like cloud types, but things like what each status does. So, um, all of these statuses, if you, if you just want to wonder what they do, there might be a really helpful description here, and all cards, items, uh, features, of course, gods, Stuff you would expect. Monsters, you can look up any monster if you just if it's not in view and you want to know what it does. And it's it's the usual I don't know why I'm picking Frederick, especially since I apparently can't spell his name. You can just look up all the usual stuff. So it's pretty handy. And um, yeah, there's there's some stuff that might be useful if you were like deciding about a character to play like the aptitude table. And you can actually look at your char dump too, your full char dump right in the game. You hit a. Uh, Alan added this uh, feature, which I wasn't sure we needed it, but I guess it is pretty handy. How do we get to the crawl dev fanfic page? We talked about making a uh, a kind of a funny sprint, like a crawl dev sprint, where you would like fight the devs, but we never got around to doing it. Well, I guess we might as well play crawl the video game. This is also, it's not just a lore and fanfic universe. There's also, as a side project, a video game that you can play if you want to, if you're into that stuff. Um, so what am I gonna do now? I have been to, uh, I've just finished Orc. Uh, I'm gonna go, I did a lot more dungeon than I would normally do because I got uh, shafted. Oh, but I haven't really finished D13 or D14. I got shafted down to D14, so we have actually basically three levels of dungeon, so that's what we'll do next. Um, I was looking what I'm going to do for my character. I don't think I want more transmutations right now. Some fighting would be good. I kind of jokingly showed this character to Mikey, and I was like, hey, roast my vampire. And yeah, yeah, he mentioned that fighting is actually a little bit low, which, he, which is correct probably uh, at least 12. They do have a minus one, so it's a little bit tough, but now I need to start thinking about how I can make the stabber's life easier because I don't really have, what I would almost like to do, just because it would be kind of fun, would actually be to do something silly and, and turn this guy more into a melee character, but I'd really like to do it if I could find shadow dragon scales. Unfortunately, those are just really hard to find. Um, because then I could do melee and keep the stealth and do fun stuff with stealth. But uh, Wu is a really, you know, is a, obviously a god that's big about melee things. His uh, clouds will cert- his clouds make a ton of noise, so he's not exactly a stealthy god. But you can use the melee things kind of in a pinch just to 
turn your character into a, like a, a Cuisinart and just kind of mow stuff down quickly. And uh, so it would be cool if I could have like AC and the stealth. That's why this would be a fun character to try to get those scales. Uh, the issue is minus two armor. That's not really an issue though. It's not hard to just get like eight levels of armor and get more. It's not really going to stop me. And um, I guess the other issue, oh, the other issue that is significant is my strength. So it's going to make my spells, even if I were to have this plan come through. Um, so it's, it's very much up in the air how we're going to proceed, which I guess might make it more interesting. Hey, unexplored stairs, that's... Oh, okay, that's why. Alright, so this level has some... What are my spells? I just memorized Yara's, which, damn, I really need to... My spell letters, like... They're not doing their job. I need to add four. What happens is I have, like, three different spell letter defaults for every spell, but it always ends up being not enough. So you really need, like, four so that every spell just gets a, a good letter. Sorcel hibernation on X, really. I think we can do H. See, that's another one, like... Some of them I can sometimes just be missing, but... Now I could, uh, I could confuse these guys, I'm just gonna do a little bit of, uh... No, a vampiric falcon. That's oh no, that's actually a long blade. That would be a pretty terrible example of a falcon, but so yeah, I do have enchant weapon. Which gold do I have? I don't have a lot of gold. I could go buy that triple sword ahead of time and just kind of go for it. Inihi Gunk. That is a good scroll name. We're actually going to ID this. Ah, brand weapon. Very exciting. We got to get rid of some things. Get rid of that and that. What am I wearing? Scarf of Resist. Do I need that? So I've got... Poison. Uh. Do I have. Uh... Did I misread this? I did misread it. Okay, so the extra RC is coming from uh, being thirsty. Um. What? Oh yeah, now this robe is is probably not going to get changed. What's our MR looking like? Our MR is already good because we have this robe. No, this hat. Oh, the hat and the robe. Well, I don't have a better cloak. What's up, Biggie? Uh-oh. I'm Lobot. Okay, there we go. It was just... Sequel is a little bit slow. Suddenly you're thirsty. Yeah, you're going to be getting thirsty a lot with this guy. He's always trying to drink something. Is this the first boots? It is. These huge dividends. Already paying off. At some point, we're going to want to train more stealth, but we're going to... Uh, nope, actually I started uh, this guy... Um, I don't think I started it the night that I sent it that, because I was done after that was a long session. But this is the next ca character I started. Uh, I could start up. I've, I've often done that where I'll start up. I'm So getting some nice stabs here. We'll see if we can't get this Hydra. We did. And the lunge is kind of cool. That's one sort of interesting thing about a Wu Stabbers. The lunge is like a free tile for your stabs. Um, so I don't have to be adjacent to it. That's sort of neat.
Uh, but yeah, often I will, like I'm on a streak right now of, I think this would only be game seven, where my, my uh, basically my goal is just to eventually get a 15 streak and anything past that is like whatever. Because streaks are, maintaining streaks are just like, well, they're kind of a bunch of work and so the my right now my own my PB is only like eight. Um, I wasn't super serious the last time. Ooh, a Yaktar, huh? All right, this is the entrance to vaults. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of stuff, and um, we don't know what else is around there. I might get lucky and uh, be able to stab them, but I very well might not. Um, so the only thing we don't want is what's doing blinking. Okay, that's actually much more dangerous. I'm gonna see if I can't walk around the corner and stab this guy. Mm. So they're not gonna cooperate. If I dig or make any other noise, they're definitely gonna wake up. Yaktar Captain is definitely the nastiest thing. Alright, we got him. Got him. Okay, that worked out pretty well. So we'll uh, confuse this guy. And we'll confuse this guy. We'll stabity stab. Switch to the rapier. This is just a trivial zombie. So we got the real nasty. You know, that's sort of luck based. As long as you have an out for what to do if something goes poorly. Wow. I just, just stabbed that guy. Uh, he just didn't even notice me. My stealth is. Am I, I mean, my. Um, my stealth pips are, well, they're getting there. This guy can confuse eventually. Wow. I think in Conj, I'll just go ahead and confuse him. Oh, look, this fault. This is uh, where all the yaks came from, I believe. I think this one had a bunch of yaks in it. It's a food vault. Yeah, so my streak there says seven, but I actually have it. My challenge runs I have on another Nick, and the first one in the streak was a deep dwarf, like just a two hour deep dwarf quote unquote speed run, which not really a speed run, it's just sort of slightly quick. But I did that on the challenge account because I was playing it like a speed run. Um, but that that my default nick doesn't capture that. But anyway, the um, yeah, the goal would be to get to 15 and <laughs> anti null with minus eight apps. Uh, we just got to think about what un amazing powers we would give them. Oh. You lucked out. Lucked out, Mr. Centaur Warrior, but it didn't even matter because I still confused you and I still got adjacent to you. Whoa, look at this now. Second potion of experience, I I think. Because I don't think I've ID'd every potion, have I? Nope. I forget the first time I quaffed one, but hey, that's pretty cool. Start with 20 and <laughs> lose them as you gain XP. You start from the orb chamber and uh, yeah, I'm not sure how that would work. We'll have to appoint Gressup as uh, as lead dev. We know we'll, we know it'll be balanced because if if Gressup plays it and and he wins at all. Because if you know the aggressive play style, he does not. Uh, if we see Gressup making lots of progress, yeah, it's too easy if Gressup wins. Okay, 
freezing rate. These are kind of nasty, but I do have like RC2 right now, so they're really not going to do too much. Orc Wizard. I wonder if I'll be able to... Oh, look at this pinning. Epic. I'm just going to take some... Some free stabs. I could confuse this guy, but I don't care. I'm more concerned about our friend over there. <laughs> yeah. Summon uh, someone. I, I'm going to guess that you know that that exact proposal has been flouted, flouted, floated many times, and is on the official won't do list. The official will never implement in crawl list, which always reminds me of uh, Minmay's favorite joke that she's made of all time on Tavern when somebody was discussing the won't do list. I forget the context and the exact conversation. I don't remember if it was, all right, so I, I guess I need to quaff experience. Carrying around an experience potion, that's pretty bad. And yeah, we'll just put that right into fighting. And there we are. Potion of brilliance. <laughs> yeah, it's like wine. Gets better with age. Yeah, there there's some interesting ideas in Jin. Um, I think the idea of like trying to uh, the idea of trying to combine HP and, and MP is cool, but the like the counterbalance of Contam just did not work. Oh, what was the mid mage joke? Right. So people on Tavern, this is a long time before I posted on Tavern, I think, so this is an old joke, but people were discussing this won't do list, which, you know how it goes with players when they want to have some crazy thing added, and then it gets added to some official list of like, no, we're not going to do this, and that kind of gets them going. So I think the context of this discussion was people complaining about the won't do list, and, um, you know, I, Min Mei didn't like the conversation that was going on, and um, at some point, she just responded to like this page and a half thread or something with the single line of all of you are on my won't do list <laughs> and she, she later said that was a favorite her favorite uh, crawl joke of all time <laughs> Alan's Alan's a zealous advocate of the won't do list I'm glad to hear it won't do list must be preserved Yeah, Minmei is a she. It even says right, right in her learn DB. Oh boy. It did. It was a pretty funny joke, to be fair. I think it wasn't so much that she. It wasn't her favorite. It was her favorite insult of all time, actually. It is more of just an insult. I guess it is also a joke, but. Yeah, tavern is tavern is silly. Like to kill us. I accept gnolls. Gnolls are cool. I expect their removal. Uh oh, careful, someone. Careful. Got to keep it positive, man. Ring of Dex. Am I ready to drop the Ring of Dex? I think I'm ready. I can live my life without Dex. Lightning Rod, we already have. All right, well, that was kind of a fun little level. I got the... Uh, this wasn't the Vault Entrance, right? This was just basically just a random level. D15 is where... Oh, boy, here it is. Here it is. The Minotaur on D15. Well, I probably want to do this. Uh, I think you might be thinking of the second iteration of Nulls, actually. That's probably the one that you hate. The first one was not that different from this one in in uh, the basic idea. The first one was just the aptitudes that got worse over time. But the locked stats version um, that 
uh, Flood Killer implemented that sort of based on some spitballing that actually, again, Minmay did. Oh, they got it. Well, no, actually, people thought that was okay. Uh, we didn't like it. I mean, some players definitely didn't like the concept and the idea that nulls follow through on the concept and they still don't like some aspects of nulls. Yeah, not lock stat nulls. I, I don't think anybody was happy with those. I mean, J Hel Helmonk knows. He won, or I think that was Helmonk. He can correct me, but I think he won the Null Challenge, didn't he? Or was that was that your mock, your Mac? He, I think he created it, but maybe they both did. Okay, ticking very distant, so that means we're not close. So I need to focus uh, on. Okay, well, yeah, we found it. We're gonna confuse that. Oof. Um, okay, so what we need to do is, I don't necessarily have a lot of time to go messing around with finessing all this. What's my confused? That's pretty good. We probably can confuse this Hydra. Okay, we did. So now we're going to stab the Hydra. Good. Just got to be careful here. This guy, this deep elf mage, is dangerous. I want to get rid of him. Okay, good. Now we'll get rid of the rest of this junk. And we should be good to go into the lab. Uh, well, that's not so amazing. We're going to have to drop some stuff on the fly. And, um... Okay, well, he... He just walked out of Los. That's that's very handy. All right, so the Minotaur. I do have Tukima's Dance. That's good. I do have Invis Pots. That's good. I should be fine for this Minotaur. Um, probably you got to watch out with the Minotaur. So they're MR3. Do I have a phone? Okay. Probably you have to watch out with the Minotaur. Is uh, uh, They have javelins now um, possibly even steel javelins uh, so they're no joke they got buffed last debuffed the minotaur some well significantly and also slightly decreased loot that's less important because the loot is still pretty good and worth like getting if you can trivially kill the minotaur it's, it's still worth it so the main issue is that the minotaur can do like quite high damage so we're going to have to take this carefully. We're going to strongly consider Invis stabbing the Minotaur. Pretty good use for a single Invis pot. I have to be very careful because he might just be around the corner somewhere. I'm actually not going to take... This is... Uh... Okay, there's our boy could move forward just here. I think I'm going to be extra cautious and go ahead and do an invis. <laughs> I did not have the right stabbing tool. All right. It worked out. I should have. So don't make that mistake. I went extra cautious and then I wasted it uh, half. I wasted five aught switching to a dagger, which is pretty silly. Make sure you have the right stabbing weapon, weapon is what I'm trying to say. All right. So he's down. And it cost me one invis pot just for extra safety. Now we get to see what junk he has. Probably none of it very good, but yeah, this is looking pretty meager right now. Oh! Invisibility the spell. Minotaur, you delivered. You're my bro. That made it all worthwhile. Now we have Invis the spell. One of the absolute best stabbing spells there is. Enchanter spells, I guess. Kermag did it after him with 15 runes. Oh my god. I don't. I probably knew that at one point, but that sounds extremely painful. I think, you know, Elliptic played Statlock Nulls and he died with one. I think he. Did he die in vaults? I think he died with Statlock Nulls and vaults. 
he was like that his game and then he went and then he won one and then afterwards he started the discussion to be of like what gamma funk why why what is this <laughs> why are the explain to me how these came to be this way in trunk and so i kind of told him about all the development history and he's like okay and so then um mikey started bringing up ideas and one of the ideas that uh, mikey mentioned was uh I've told this story a few times now. One of the ideas mentioned how it would be fun to do like a skill robin like species where you don't select skills. And then he mentioned it to Elliptic and Elliptic is like, his immediate response was like, well, that idea might be terrible. And then they didn't discuss it anymore. And then I guess Elliptic thought about it. The next day he told me about this idea. I thought, wow, that sounds really cool. I mean, I had never played skill robin before, but the idea seemed to really work and get like the same the same spirit that Flood Killer was going for in the first version, and it solves all the breakpoint issues that we didn't like and makes the conduct much more well defined without like weird aptitude shenanigans and stuff. Well, without the without uh, breakpoints and without having to have like changing aptitudes. And so I, I went and implemented that, but the funny part about that was that I, I credited Elliptic and Mikey was like, wait a minute. I was the one who I was the one who brought this idea up, but I was like, "Yeah, well, Elliptic told it to me. I thought it was his." <clears throat> Want to see an ogre with max stealth and giant spike club with assassin boots? You know the thing about that is, I wonder if giant spike clubs are really noisy. I don't think you would actually want to use the giant spike club to do stealthy type of stabs because they're very oh but stabs are silent yeah never mind okay stabs are always silent so yeah of course if they made noise uh that would be a problem but yeah so noise isn't a factor there it's it is a factor if you're just like mailing but that won't be an issue yeah and ogres cannot wear boots that is an excellent point all right, so we didn't get anything other than some ident scrolls. Didn't even get any jewelry. We got a staff of earth. I don't think that's going to come in too handy. I mean, I'll pick up this chainmail. I don't ever see my this character wearing chainmail unless I really give up stealth completely. Yeah, so this guy had seven, eleven jabs of uh, penetration. Oh, no, I think that's long dead, someone. I'm sorry. You're living in Crawl of the Past. 